you guys are going to be amazed at what love these kitties are full of and capable of. Mason's like, you don't see that cat there. You don't want to pet him. You want to pet me. Pet my belly. Look at who's basking in the autumn sun. It's now September. And even though it's a fairly warm day outside, it's cooler than what the cat is used to. So Mason is sitting around, hanging out in the sunlight. I leave the front door open so that he can bask in the sun you're kind of talkative today you're saying hi to the youtubers oh hello there this is coho coho is our youngest cat both of these cats were found by me out in nature just living mason came to us by crawling under my boat and meowing i thought it was a falcon a baby falcon i don't know that's what i thought the sound was because he was very hoarse. He was also sick. And Coho was also sick. And he was found at a gas station south of our lake place. And so here we are with two little kitties and one great big kitty. Actually, he's not that fat. But we call him Fatty. His name is Coda, though. But we lovingly call him Fatty. Fatty McTaddy. He's a little heavy. He's 12 pounds. So, this is life in the autumn. Follow me where I go. Good morning, Coho. Did you just get into your little tent? So, Karen was garage sailing, and as she left the garage sale, she found a free box at the end. You know, you see those at garage sales. I love those. Free box is the thing that people really want to get rid of. Just take it, please. Just take it. And this item was in the free box. And Karen thought, well, I know a couple of creatures that would really, really appreciate this. Mason's trying to be part of this vlog. Yes, we love you too, Mason. <laughs> yes, we do. Actually, he's just trying to hang out with me because he is my, I'm his main man. I'm the person that he absolutely loves to hang out with he's a one person cat and i'm the lucky guy but yeah so we're hanging out looking at the tent that karen got it's a barbie tent doesn't look like it has too much use and the cats actually wrestle over who gets to be in this tent and they chase and dive in there and it's it's kind of a nice little addition to the to the lake home here for the cats to have something to play with and uh, so here they are Cats are hanging out with me in the morning. I'm having a little morning coffee. I just watered my cacti. Karen's like, you did what? I watered the cacti. She's like, the cat eye? <laughs> it's like, yes, I watered the eyes of the cat. Because I'm so amazing as a human being that the cats cried. No, <laughs> I don't know. I'm coming up with stuff. What kind of plant is that growing? Oh, it's a plastic plant. I'm about as... Squirrel! <laughs> Can you tell my coffee is effective? No, it's not the coffee. I had a really good night's sleep. I'm back from flight training, and uh, I furthered my career and moved on to a jet rating. And so uh, I don't vlog much about my work because that's what I do when I go to work. I come home here, and I love to share time and cats and dogs with you guys. Where are the puppies, you say? Well, there, I actually have taught the puppies that um, since the first day of having them, that when I get up in the morning, there's some things I need to do to take care of myself as a human being and as their master and the guy who gives them food and water. And I need to take care of some things before I let them out. It's not, it's not a household where the dogs rule the roost. The cats kind of do. I'm a guy that I love to be up at night, but if I know I have to be up the next day, I go to bed very early and I can get up anytime I need to in the morning. 
I'm not a morning person, but I'm effective in the morning. Does that make sense? And I don't need coffee. I just enjoy coffee. Um, coffee makes me more of a better productive person, like better demeanor, but I'm still productive. <laughs> I don't need coffee. Um, I just need motivation to take action and make my day happen. And anyway, it sounds like I'm doing a seminar or something on what I don't know. <laughs> How to be an effective person? You can be effective if you put to action what you have in your mind, what you want, what your desires are. Um, make a plan and, and then do some steps that are actual physical steps where you make process toward and progress toward your goals. I don't know how I went off in that tangent. I was talking about how cats effectively wake me up in the morning and they are very effective at that. So yeah, the dogs are not up yet because even if the cats get the dogs riled up and then I'm into a, a fully awake mode, I'll get up and do the things that I need to do every morning before any of them get any sort of attention. And now Mason is licking this stone. Hmm. Is it salty? Or does it have water drops on it? No, it doesn't have water drops on it because thank goodness we don't have a leaky roof. We had that repaired just a few months ago. But uh, are you guys ready for winter? I'm changing gears here. Autumn is come. Autumn has come. It's here. And uh, our landscaping project, stage one, is done. I'll give you a tour this weekend. Maybe a live tour. I don't know. Depends on the weather. I wanted to do it last weekend, but it was cold and rainy. And it's usually not cold and rainy in September. But aren't those clouds cool? It's fun to fly in those kind of clouds. The only problem is they're really low, and sometimes you can't get down to your airport. Um, typically, I can, unless it's uh, with our equipment that we fly with, that I've always flown with in air medical and uh, corporate. We can, we can get in unless the weather is below a quarter of a mile or a half mile, depending on the airport. So there you have it. There's the update from Frosty Life. I'm back after training. The pets are thinking that they rule the roost, but it's just uh, a household where there's a lot of love, a lot of care, a lot of compassion, but a lot of sleeping lately. <laughs> I'm getting rested up now that I'm back home, and I'm, I'm the lake is my home. Um, I go to work from here now this summer, and we've had a lot of projects to work on here at the lake home, so... I'm doing a lot more driving to work, and yet, at the same time, when I do go work, I'll be gone for several days at a time, sometimes. Otherwise, it's day trips, but uh, a lot of driving, a lot of training, and a lot of yard renovation, including new table and chairs for the deck. Karen made those. We'll show those to you later. Anyway, lots of promises, lots of things I'm going to show you. Lots of sweet kitties. People are going to say, where's that fat cat? Well, he's right there. He's in his favorite place. Nearly the only place. Hi there, big guy. Good morning. Hi there. Hi, sleepyhead. Were you up chasing things all night? Yeah, you're a good boy. Mason wants the attention. He's like, no, pet me. Don't pet that cat. You're wasting it on a sleeping cat. Oh, yeah. Give him some loving. Yeah, you're a good boy, Mason. You're a good boy, Charlie Brown.